guys, thank you for clicking to watch my videos. In case you're new here, I go by the name Lucy Gichuki, and please consider subscribing and click on the notification bell so that any time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to be notified. And for returning subscriber, thank you so so much. And today I wanna show you a very simple meal on how to prepare lemon cake. Remember, I told you this channel where I'll be showing you very simple recipe on how to prepare certain meals that you can prepare the comfort of your own kitchen. And so today I wanna show you how to we have lemon cake and of course we have our flour we have sugar and butter or you can use bread or margarine and then i have lemon which i'll be using the lemon zest and maybe a teaspoon of the lemon juice and then i have my baking powder here the milk to make the solution then i have three eggs and of course our mixing bowl and the sieve because we need to sieve this flour so what we'll do first we'll first start by and in case you're wondering what i've used to measure my ingredients these are the equipments i've used to measure my ingredients so this one i've used to measure okay these are just two different size cups in short i'm representing two magnan materials this small cup I've used to measure the margarine and the sugar and the ratio goes to 2 to 2 is to 1 is to 1 and then this big cup I've used 2 okay flour 2 cups of the this cup can I make a big cup that's what I've done and then 3 eggs and of course milk we're not going to use water here so what we'll do first is to mix our butter and mixing your butter you mix your sugar, this is the first step, mix your sugar and your margarine. And then start mixing them together until, as you can see right now the margarine is yellow in color. So mix it until the margarine turn from yellow to white. That's when you know it's ready. If you have the hand mixer, the better. If you have the whisk, the better. But I told you I'm representing team material here. So we're just gonna do these things manually. So we mix this until it's for, it starts to turn to white. And you can see it's yellow at the moment. that simply because you don't have any the equipment just improvise your own equipment and do what you want to do then the secret that this is according to me the secret here when you want to have the good results when you mixing now the butter when you're forming your butter now that's sugar and margarine don't Keep on exchanging your hands. Maintain same same level. Maintain same consistency. Don't keep on changing your hands. Like if I'm going, um, if I'm turning clockwise, I'll do it that until the butter is formed. I won't come again and do anti-clockwise. Like for me, I'll go with this. So I won't ch ch change my hands and start coming this way. I won't have that good consistency of the butter. So guys, I have to exchange my butter from this big cylinder 
of this big mixing bowl to this small mixing mixing bowl because I'm like straining myself. The butter is small and this the cylinder is big, so let me use this one. We'll have to prepare our oven tray so that we can give it enough time for it to settle and don't be shocked because this is my oven tray my baking tray I've been using this baking tray for like I've used it for like this is my fourth time now and it has really worked for me so in case you don't have a baking tray you can as well go in and use a heavy sufuria but don't use the non-stick ones, only this type of the sufurias because the, the non-stick ones, they, like they, they retain heat that much. So you are kept in and like you work. So we we'll first prepare our baking tray and this is how we do it. You, you apply measuring in. Then we'll go in and dust it with the flour. So just dust it with the flour as I'm doing this way. After doing this, ensure that you fly mender in every part. Then and dust it now. Then this height looks inside. And then let's give it enough time for it to settle before we use it. So guys, our butter is ready. We'll go in and add our eggs and we'll do one by one to confirm if our eggs is, is that good enough to be used so always beat your egg aside not inside your butter so that in, if in case your egg is not that good you'll be able to to exchange or to avoid it to mix it with your with your butter Mix it with our butter. Not like mix your eggs at once. Go in and mix it with your butter. 
butter and still maintain that consistency of not changing your hand your hands use it clockwise and this is how it looks inside Now and add our next egg. And then mix it again with the butter. Mm. Gather the butter that's along your the side your your mixing bowl and mix it again carefully. And then now at this point we add our flour and what we'll do first we'll mix our flour with the baking powder and I'll do a tablespoon tablespoon then mix it well with your flour and then now we'll start adding in our flour in our butter but we'll have to sieve it first we are saving it first to ensure that the lumps are not around like we don't want these lumps in our flour and then to incorporate air to allow air to get in in our butter or our cake Let's mix our butter with the flour and this method is called folding method and with this method you don't have not to maintain your hands consistency you can do it in either way you can fold in you just do this and then you come in like this
and as you can see it's not starting to be thick enough and this is the point where we'll add in our milk don't pour all your milk at once do it a bit and a bit so that we can have the, a nice consistency with our cake Always mix your put in your milk in turn so that we want to maintain this can we want to get this can nice you know consistency as you can see it's still thick it is still thick so always add in your milk in turns don't just add in at once utaji pattern you mix it in a too thin like we need it to a bit thick So what we'll do then, we'll preheat our oven. Always preheat your oven for 10 minutes before putting in your cake. So we have preheated our oven and we're going to do this for 10 minutes before adding, putting in our cake. Always do this to ensure that una put a, a nice flow. As you can see, this is what we want to get in our cake. The consistency, your flow, your our uh, butter but for mine it's a bit thick so I'll have go in and add a little milk then now mix it so we'll go in and add our lemon zest a drop of the lemon juice a drop just do it a drop that a drop then mix it so guys our butter is ready and We'll now go in and mix it, put it in our baking tray. And this is what we'll just do. If you can see inside here, inside, inside here we have a very nice consistency of the flour of the butter. And this shows that your butter is very 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 ready so let's ensure we have used all the butter by just removing it so guys we've used all the butter and we have to levelize our cake by just doing this sorry this helps to level your cake and this now is our butter inside our baking tray. So our oven is ready and we'll go in and add our cake. 
So guys, this is our butter inside our baking tray. As you can see, it's it like the baking tray. It's well coated. Just place your cake that way, your baking tray that way, and always bake your cake at one eighty degrees. And only do this for forty five minutes. So always keep time. Bake your cake for forty five minutes. This is how it looks inside. We have different type of oven with different behaviors. So learn your oven that nicely. Yum. So our cake is now ready. Let's give it for five minutes and it will be ready, guys. Stay tuned. Our uh, forty-five minutes are over and now yeah. our cake is ready. And if you want to know that your cake is ready, this is what you do. By the way, immediately after putting your cake inside the oven, ensure that you're not opening it every, each time so that it can't, it you won't allow air to get inside our cake. Yeah. And so if you want to know if your cake is ready, this is what you do. Just use a knife, then dip it inside your cake. And if it comes out clean, then your cake is ready. As you can see, our knife is clean, so our cake is ready. So we just remove our cake. And then we place it here. So guys, we'll place our cake here for... For three minutes for it to cool then we'll come and cut it because we have to cut it when it's cool and let's do this for three minutes then we'll come and cut it stay tuned guys our three minutes are ready and let's cut our cake so this is our cake and this is how clean our baking tray looks this is how it looks after the cake is ready and so This is our cake. As you can see, guys, that's why I told you you have to ensure that Daddy. your knife comes out clean. Daddy. And this shows that Daddy. your cake is ready. And this is our one piece of a cake. Daddy. And so, let me show you inside. As you can see, it's spongy. That's the first thing, spongy. And this is how clean it is inside. I like it and I love it the way it has the lemon zest in it. Yeah, when you just take a bite, you feel the lemon flavor in your cake. So let me know what type of cake you want me to prepare for you. And thank you guys for always watching my video. Comment down below. Let me know what type of cake would you want me to prepare for you, and which other method do we use to prepare our cakes? Thank you for watching. Bye bye, guys.